Today we're at M Power Performance Physical Therapy in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Everything you got, hard as you can. There you go. I'm impressed. We're gonna be focusing on fitness today. I'm going to be getting my self-assessment. Go for green, man. Go for green. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, golf professional. Today we're going to be talking about fitness. I'm joined today by Jeremiah Hales, and he is the owner of Empower. And uh, I've been working with Jeremiah on and off a little bit for the last probably like 15 years, I think. It's probably we been about 15 years, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so Jeremiah, um, I met him when I was at the University of Minnesota on the men's golf team. Came in and worked on strength, mobility, balance, and everything like that. And uh, I want to get back to it, because I know how important fitness is in the game of golf. Yeah, it's a huge part of it, and I always feel like your body is your biggest and most important like tool when swinging a golf club. Um, you really need to have flexibility, functional strength, balance, coordination, and then you start layering power on top of that, and you can really complete, kind of create the complete golfer who's not only going to be powerful, but also safe while they're swinging the club. And that's my ultimate mission when working with players is to help create an athlete that's safe, that um, won't get hurt while playing, and can perform at their highest level with their coaching. Because um, ultimately, I'm handing a player off to a coach that's trying to teach them how to complete complex motor patterns, and they need to be able to do it. And a lot of times, golfers just frankly can't. Um, so it's our job as fitness professionals, and I'm also a physical therapist um, at helping kind of create a physique that can handle all the stress and the biomechanical load that um, is placed on the body. And that's what we're going to be doing together. Right. And it's interesting. You look at, say, golfers back 10, 20 years ago, there's a bit of a difference in physique in yeah. golfers, even beyond back 30 years. I mean, you look at the, well, it's you know, huge. It's yeah. huge. So there's been a huge change and an importance placed on fitness. Yep. Let's face it, you're on the golf course for four hours. You need to be not only physically fit, but mentally fit, and it kind of ties into each other there as yeah. well. Yeah, and I think how you're feeling physically really affects your mental game, and you can speak to that because you've been out there playing. Um, and I think it's just really important to have both aspects of your body working for you. Right. Yeah, so today we're going to be going through a basically a fitness evaluation, right? Yep. We're going to go through a full fitness eval. We're going to be looking at range of motion in your neck, your shoulders, your thoracic spine, your lumbar spine, your hips, your knees. We're going to look at balance. I want to be evaluating how well you can control your body at slow speeds and at fast speeds. We're going to be assessing um, how quickly you can move your body um, and uh, a little bit of power testing. And my philosophy is really kind of threefold. I want to make sure you have good mobility and flexibility and your muscle tissue is pliable so that you're you're able to have this foundation of movement working for you. And then we're gonna be looking at how well uh, your functional strength system is set up so that um, I know that you can handle the different positions in the golf swing. And then we're gonna look at some power. So right. how fast you can move. Yeah. yeah, and this is very important for me as I'm pursuing my dream still to play professionally, um, chasing the, the role to the PGA Championship. And this is, this is huge. And this is something that I am going to admit now, I've overlooked for the last few years. I, I mean, if you look, I don't really have much muscle on me. I weigh 165 pounds, and it's really been just been pure skill that's got me places. Right. But I know that if I just put a little bit more time and effort into this, I want to get back to a spot where I know I'm more flexible, I'm, I'm more stable, I'm stronger. And this is going to be, I think, groundbreaking for me to get me the next step up. Well, I think it's going to be great, because it's going to be able to allow us to focus your workouts so that you're not wasting time when you're in the gym doing something that you actually don't need to do because you've already got that worked out. Um, and I'm excited about that because we have known each other a long time and, and you have um, at times been really committed. And then like most things, life kind of happens right. and we get busy and, and you kind of got pulled away from fitness and yep. now you're back and I think yep. that's great. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit now, I'm going to need structure. So the biggest thing for me is having a structured plan yep. to come once we have done this evaluation and committing to it because yep. I've got a five-month-year-old now. I'm juggling, still trying to play, juggling being a, a fitter, being content creator. 
being golf instructor, everything I'm trying to juggle right here to try and continue to pursue my goal. And I'm going to definitely need some, some structure and help to guide me in the right direction. Yeah, that'll be fun. I'm that's, excited about it. That's why I'm here to yeah. see, see the best, right? Perfect. You bet. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is lumbar flexibility and hamstring flexibility. So just okay. once you do a toe touch, you're going to reach above your head, legs together and straight. You're going to keep your legs straight as you come down and try to touch the ground. That one I'll pass. You passed. <laughs> Do I need to go any further than that? Or? Um, go as far as you can. Yeah. Okay, the classic overhead squat. I want your feet if to I... stay flat on the ground. Yep, yep. I don't want to see your head ducking forward and your arms behind. So we got 83. So my goal is to get you kind of below that 90 degree mark. Yep. All right, nice. And then bring your arms up to goalposts, and we're going to roll the hands back as far as we can. Okay, um, this is a shoulder blade test, so I'm really looking at how well you can activate the muscles underneath your shoulder blade that kind of go down your back, they're called lower traps. You're gonna flatten your back against the wall by tilting your pelvis backwards. Yep, yep you've done this before, you're gonna raise your arms up. Hold it, put some pressure on it. There yep. you go, yep. And raise up, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Dude, you're fighting for it, you're winning the battle, good job. All right, we gotta look at balance, let's go shoe off. Oh boy. <laughs> gotta break out the stopwatch. You won't need the stopwatch. Oh, come on. <laughs> Most golfers at the top of their backswing tilt their pelvis and then start to turn it. And that mm -hmm. creates this opportunity for space. If you can't tilt the pelvis, then you end up kind of like doing this move and then that move to turn your hips and it leads to back pain. I do that move a little bit. Yeah, so yeah. that's part of what we're trying to diagnose and figure out. Feet stay together, knees here. Don't roll back with the hips. I'm gonna keep my hand here. Only your knee comes up. Okay, hold it there. Don't let me push down. Okay, that's a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> your goal is to hold your body out like a plank for two minutes. Okay. Go for green, man. Go for green. Two seconds. And stop. Good job. That was awesome. I'm impressed. Well, Jeremiah, that was, that was fun. Uh, interesting findings. Some things surprised me and some things actually didn't surprise me from based on the work that I've done in the past. Yeah, I was really happy to see that flexibility wasn't as big of an issue as I thought it was going to be. Um, based on our conversation when we started, I was kind of wondering where you were at with, you know, your physiology and your physique. You were leading me down a path that I was expecting to see someone super tight. You're talking about a perfectionist here. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we ran into a couple things. Um, your right hip is tight. Left uh, hip. Left hip, yeah. Well, they're both tight, but yeah, left hip's tighter. Well, actually, I thought your right hip was your right hip was pretty good. Okay. Um, fell within the normal guidelines of what I look for in a golfer. Your left hip was tight only with internal rotation. Um, you've got some tightness in your uh, psoas and iliacus muscles, which are higher hip flexor muscles that start in your spine. So we're gonna work on some mobility stretches with that, and then a little bit of motion through your thoracic spine. Um, but what's nice is that you don't have, a lot of the guys that come to me have a really long list. They could have up to 20 um, issues for flexibility alone that we have to work on and and we really can't do anything else until we tackle those problems because I don't really like to train bad habits and if I've got a person with a flexibility problem that I'm training I have to get rid of that problem first so we get to start at a more fun space and really what we found was that functional strength and balance um, are really kind of your Very biggest cool. issues Good. that could be holding you back in your golf game, or at least certainly not contributing to your peak performance. Right. And that's really what we want to do. So I'm excited that we don't have to spend a ton of time on flexibility work um, and that we can jump into some of the more fun golf um, you know, exercises that will help you get better. Um, and that's really cool. Right, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I still have that, that baseline there where I can, we can get rolling right, right away and get my yeah. body in, in the right spot and we've got I mean, uh, my, my biggest goal here is I want to make sure I peak early April. Okay. So I've got, I've got like five months here to really get everything dialed in and in a good spot here. So I'm, I'm excited. That's awesome. And we're going to, next time we meet, we're going to start with a golf warm up that's specific for you to help your body get ready for, the, for your uh, game. And my goal is to teach you a program that you can do every time you're going to touch a club. Before you touch the club, you do this golf warm up to help get yourself ready to optimize your swing and optimize your performance. And then we're gonna build a functional golf strengthening program that's balance, core stability, movement pattern based, and then we're gonna do some speed work to try to build your speed up. Because I think 
one of the things I found is that you could really benefit from starting to build some athleticism um, and speed into your body, uh, awesome. which will really help add club head speed and uh, distance and stuff like that. So. Right. Well, I'm excited. This is, this was fun today. Um, golfers, if you live in Minnesota, first off, come in and see Jeremiah. He's uh, he's based in Eden Prairie Empower. He's a, he's a great resource here to work on your your body balance and. Um, st stability, mobility, strength, and anything like that. I um, mean, a great resource for me. Jeremiah, thanks so much for yeah. the time today. I'm excited to get to work and start going down this journey. Well, I appreciate that. My goal is to be supportive and to be a resource for all my players, and, and I'm excited to be a part of the team and uh, get to watch your success firsthand. Very good. Yeah. Let's get after it. Cool, man.